Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we are going to be continuing going through my coin collection, and this will be part 10, I believe. And today, it's the first day we are starting on the foreigns. So as you can see, I got a giant FD coin collector's album here. It's at least probably 8 pounds. It's full of coins, and it's all foreign coins. So what I've been doing this past maybe two or three years is making a coin collector's album. That's basically an encyclopedia. It's got tons and tons of different coins in it, and I um, ordered it alphabetically from A to Z countries. So we're going to be doing um, countries from A to C today, and the letters afterwards will be in the other videos so here we're gonna start with a our first country we're gonna start with is Australia Australia has very very beautiful money I really like the reverse of the money it's got the platypus on it very good characteristic for the country and it's got um 20 on the back with lots of cool patterns and stuff signifying the water. This is a 10 cent right here. It's got what I believe to be a fern. It's a 10 cent coin. As you can see, it's considerably smaller. And then here's the 5 cent coin. I'm not quite sure what that animal is in the back, but you guys can tell me if you guys know. And now we're moving on to Austria. So these are, this um, currency is called one shilling, so they're using shillings. And um, I'm pretty sure they use euros now. Euros, I just have a giant bag of euros from random countries. So they won't be in this book. Pretty standard money though. It's got um, just flowers in the front. One in the back. I do like this though. The horseman. And now we're on to the letter B. So here we got the Bahamas. Here's their one cent coin. That's all I have in the book for right now. This is what this coin looks like. It's got a nice design on the obverse and a starfish on the reverse. And I don't have too many Bahamas coins, so we're going into Belgium. Mm -hmm. Belgium's got a very neat coin. Well, at least back in the um, early 1900s they did. <clears throat> Here's a Belgium 5 francs from 1939. It's in good condition. Still got some luster on them. But it's got a very, very majestic looking design of a lion. And then here's the, what, the, um, obverse of the coin would look like. Actually, I'm sorry, reverse of the coin. That's the reverse design. So that's what it would look like. And this one's dated 1939. This one's 1949. Here is some um, Botswanian coins. Botswanian. I think that's how you say it. But, yeah, this is the next country. And these are from the 1990s. coin is relatively worn, but you can still see a lot of the design on it. Looks to have some kind of um, symbol on the back, or a front. As you can see, it's got the date and the country and the currency on it. This is what the back of the coin looks like. 
So like it has one of the the um national birds on the back. Five Thebe. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. So I will be doing this for some of the video. Alright, so now we're on to Bulgaria. And this is the front of the coin. <coughs> we have several stars around it. We have um, the national lettering, and this is 10 on it, and it's got the date as well. And here is the, the reverse. In fact, actually, this might be the obverse. But I don't know my foreign coins very well, so I wouldn't really know. That one's also dated 1999 as well. This one's um, the same year, but it is a 20 Sotinki. That's what their currency is called, by the way. Very strange name. And it's got the same design as the 10 Sotinki coin did. Now on to the letter C. We have the Canadian coins. So here we start with a penny. These are the older ones I have. And I have them stuck inside the book. This one's uh, King George VI, 1937. One cent coin from Canada. And this one's a 1946 King George VI. And you can see you got the um, maple leaves on the back and the King George in the front. This is a five cent coin from Canada. And as you can see, we have King George on the front and a beaver on the back, along with the currency and the country and the date. This is what the dimes look like. It's pretty much the same design. Um, the king or queen on it, and then the back for the dimes have the, they have a ship on it with the date. This one's all scratched up. I'm not sure how it got so scratched up. And then here we got the quarters, same obverse design as always. And this one has a moose on it. This one in particular is dated in 1969, or 1976, is that 1979? I'm not sure. This one was the 1969 I saw. If this were one year earlier, it would be um, possibly 50% silver, I believe. And I think in 1965 they made them 80% silver, and they did before that as well. Here's a $2 coin from um, Canada as well. It's got same obverse design, but it's got um, um, two different alloys that it's made out of in the outside and center. And the Canadian dollars, I believe, are the loon dollars. What they have is the same obverse design and a loon on the back. The, the $2 coin in particular has a bear on it. It's a very cool, detailed um, reverse. It's got a nice stream and a bear on the what seems to be a small island in the middle of the stream. And you can also see some of the mountains in the background. Now we're on to the last of the seas. We have Costa Rica. Costa Rica has the same... Um, design for all of their years so we can go through them pretty quickly these are the 1990s coins and these are the 1980s these to make them bigger and the last two for the C letters we have is the Chinese coins we have a one yuan coin it's pretty much uncirculated and another one yon coin that's also uncirculated. And they're both dated 2009. As you can see, the obverse has a pretty nice um, design on it. It's got some nice wild flowers. 
and the back has um, the normal national lettering on it, the date, and the currency. So yeah, that's what I have for my um, A through C foreigns in the coin collection foreign encyclopedia. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.